how to build an emissions inventory for on-road vehicles. The fundamental equation in building the emissions inventory for vehicle emissions is basically you need three different three terms: number of vehicles, vehicle kilometers traveled, and an emission factor. Number of vehicles is basically a number. Vehicle kilometers traveled, you can have them as uh, kilometers per day or kilometers per year. And the emission factor is basically grams of pollutant per kilometer. So here the pollutant is, uh, you, you can have uh, PM, SO2, or NOx, or um, CO, or hydrocarbons, or CO2. So you can have any of the pollutants uh, uh, emission factor that's here. So if you multiply the three, so you will have the emissions for that particular pollutant. So let's say if this is the emission factor per PM. So you multiply the number of vehicles with vehicle kilometers traveled with the emission factor and you have 80,000 grams per day. Okay. So convert that into tons per day. Divide that by uh, grams to tons factor. You have that many tons per day. You multiply that by 365 days. So that's so many tons per year. So basically if you have these three terms, you can build, you can calculate an emission inventory for that particular vehicle type and that particular pollutant. But it's not all that easy in general. So these thousand vehicles could be of multiple ages. So you can have some vehicles which are less than five years old, some six to ten, some eleven to fifteen, some sixteen to twenty, and some could be very old, older than twenty day, twenty years. So each of them will have very different characteristics. If that thousand is divided into these groups. So you want to calculate, you want to get more specifics into your calculations. Okay. So next step, vehicle kilometers traveled. One could assume that every vehicle travels 40 kilometers of the day. Or you can say that the oldest vehicle, which is more than 20 years old, not before traveling 40 kilometers a day, maybe it's only traveling 20 kilometers a day. Okay. So you can define, you can either put 40, 40, 40 or you can change them by age group. It entirely depends on how much detailed information you have to support your assumptions. Next step is having an emission factor. The reason why we have age split statistics is to make sure that we have age split in the emission factors as well. So here the assumption is that the oldest vehicle is emitting more emissions per kilometer than a newest vehicle. So oldest vehicle which is older than 20 years old probably was designed with a very low emission standard and after all the deterioration it's obviously emitting more uh, grams of pollutant per kilometer now than before. The newest vehicle of the new fleet obviously has a much better engine, less wear and tear so obviously has a better emission factor. So Similar to the fundamental equation, the calculations that we are doing here are doing by age. So we multiply each each row here and get the total emissions by age group. Combine them all so that gives you 68,000. So with basic assumptions, we got about 20,000. But with more details into the calculations and more data, we got a more refined total emissions. So you convert that into tons per day and then convert that into tons per year. So you have a new emissions inventory and emissions inventory by age group. So here what we're seeing is that there's a total number of vehicles. So you have 5% of the vehicles which are more than 20 year old, but they are emitting 13% of the emissions. So if we looked at all the vehicles more than 15 years, so here we have 15 plus 10, 25 plus 5, 30 percent. So 30 percent of the vehicles are emitting 45 percent of the emissions. Okay. So here you can start looking at so how much of the emissions coming from the new vehicles, how much from the old vehicles, what are the fraction, what are the sources, and if we had that this much details, you can also calculate what is the fleet average emission factor. So with this age group. Your fleet average emission factor turns out to be 1.6 grams per kilometer.